it's Taisha and I'm going to show you how I made this foam letter cut out using three foam boards from Dollar Tree. Stay tuned. Starting out, I went to Cricut Design Space or you can just go online and find the font of the letter that you would like to use. I took a picture of it on my phone instead of printing it and just sketched it out on one of three foam boards. I picked these up at Dollar Tree. Luckily, they had pink because that was the color that my sister in love wanted. And um, I went ahead and just uh, used my tape measure and a leveler and lightly sketched it out. Now, you will erase a few times because you're kind of eyeballing it. And once you're satisfied that, you know, each of the spaces are equal and it's large enough to stand up, you got to make sure it stands. So don't make one part too skinny. It will turn out perfectly. So um, that's all I did was just sketch it out. And once I was done, I went ahead and cut the shape out on this board. This is my final uh, product. You'll see those erasure marks in there, but that doesn't matter because you won't even see them on the finished product. Next, I took my second foam board and I measured out four equal spaces. I believe this foam board is 20 by 24, I believe. But yeah, I just took my tape measure and I just made little small lines up the entire length of the board. Then I went ahead and connected them. Then I took my Timonix knife. This is one that I use for crafting. It's kind of dull, which is good because I did not want to slice my blanket. That's my favorite blanket. And I didn't want to damage our countertop. And I just sliced each um, section out. And this section, um, these, this plays as the border of the letter. As you see, I have five of them and I will cut these to size as I border the letter. So next up, there'll be more measuring and cutting. So with my leveler or with my um, tape measure, I measured the perimeter of the letter, made my cuts as needed. Using my Timonix knife, being careful to not cut my blanket. <laughs> and just kept going from there. I had enough, but um, that is where your third foam board will come into play because I had enough for this letter using the second but once I got to one of the edges I'm so happy I had a third foam board Of course, I had to leave this in there. My honey came to give me some inspiration and tell me I was doing such a great job. I couldn't edit that part out. <laughs> Next, I went ahead and made sure that each side had a, um, a board. Uh, each perimeter side had a board, if that makes sense. So that once um, I started gluing them, I could just fly through this and not have to stop, let my hot glue gun waste and cut out another piece and I'm all over the place. It's very important that you, you make sure that you have all of your sides before proceeding on to the next step. Here is the next step. I uh, warmed up my hot glue gun and began to glue the perimeter of the foam pieces for the outside to the flat letter that we cut out. 
And now it's starting to make sense what we're doing. At first it's like, huh, what are we doing? What is this for? This is it right here. So like I said, each piece, um, I measured it at four inches. So um, the perimeter is four inches high. And then I just cut each side to fit the corresponding sides of the letter, if that makes sense. Now it's all about the money. If you remember my other craft where I made the money cake for my son, where the dollars at? Um, I took uh, a couple of bouquets of fake flowers from Dollar Tree using some uh, wire cutters. Went ahead and snipped them at the stem. Not too long, but not too short. And um, I had about $50 in singles. And then we found a few more around the house. I just wanted, just wanted to use up all these flowers to get rid of them so I can justify making another craft. And uh, using some scotch tape, we wrapped a dollar around the flower portion, secured it that way. Then I found these battery operated string lights at Target. They were on sale for $4. And they took three AA batteries and looking at the at the letter and the lights like this, I actually like it. If I do this crap this craft again, I will not glue the lights along the sides. I'll actually kind of leave them freestyle like that because that looks pretty good. However, um, I made sure the lights work before I glued them on, and I high glued them around the perimeter of the letter. I continued gluing the lights along the perimeter then the next thing i did was i glued the battery pack to the back of the box in the center so it was still balanced not tip over or put weight on one side and not the other next um how i attached the flowers i poked holes in a amazon box and just stuck it in there and then i glued it on the side so it'll stay once it's set up then uh, my sweetheart, he made some origami flowers, which are really, really cute. So just to show you um, what I did, I just um, put holes with the nail through there. And then I took the stems of the flowers and stuck them in there. So like I said, those are origami flowers. Again, we went ahead and glued those. We put a piece of tape on the bottom and glued that to um, some flower leaves left over. And then decorated the box with those. And that's what the flowers look like. And there's my sweetheart. He's uh, further decorating the box for his sister for her birthday. This just turned out to be a great, great craft. This is the finished product. I'm so proud of it. And this is what it looks like up close with the, um, the stickers on the inside. And we covered up the Amazon box with just a spare piece of foam that we had. And this is what it looks like with the lights on. So cute. And that is my sister in love. She enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video on a way to gift money and make a craft. See you next time.